In this video, I'm gonna show you a very simple way to remove green screen backgrounds from a video. On top of that, I'm also going to show you how you can create cool looking memes using Flixier. The first step we need to take is to go on Google, look up Flixier, click the first link and click on Get Started. Here we'll see a number of import options. If you wanna upload a video from your device, click on My Device, select the folder where your video is saved and then upload it. Click on Import All and in just a few seconds your video will be uploaded. After everything is uploaded, all you have to do is drag it down to the timeline or press the plus button. Right now we have this video of a funny looking cat. The first thing we need to do is to set the proper aspect ratio. If you want to share your video on TikTok or Instagram Reels, all you need to do is select the 9 by 16 vertical aspect ratio. At the moment we have the aspect ratio and all we have left to do is rearrange our video. I'll make it a little smaller and drag it to the bottom of the screen. To get rid of the green screen background go to the right side menu, go to effects, then open up green screen and then pick the green color from the background. To do that we can use the eyedropper tool to select the exact color that we need. After we've selected the right color all we have left to do is to set the intensity of the effect. We'll go up to around 40%. If we go any higher, our cat will start to disappear as well. You can see that at this point we've gotten rid of all the background. All we have left to do now is to pick a new background for our video. To do that you can go to import and upload an image or video from your device or you can use the stock library available right here. We'll go to the image tab and select an image of snow. We'll click the plus button to add it to our video, drag it to the start of the timeline and of course we're going to make it bigger. At the moment our video appears to be behind the image so we're gonna go down to the timeline and place it back on top and then we're going to extend the duration of our image to make it last as long as the video itself. Now that we have the background for our video we can go over to the effects again and readjust the intensity of our green screen to make everything look a little better. And because I want this to be more of a meme I'm going to go over to the text tab, click on add simple text and place it here. After we've added some text, we can go over to the text presets menu where we'll find the number of presets we can use. I'll choose this one, resize it and place it at the top of the video. Next up we're going to select a new font, then go over to the text background and make it white with black text. To frame our text we're going to use the text padding setting and make it fit the whole screen. To cut the clip down to what we need, we'll go back to the timeline, select our video and press the S key. We can also just use the cut button right here. We'll cut every video and then select the parts we don't need, right click on them and choose delete. Right now we have the part of the video that we are interested in. Next up I'll show you another trick to make our video a little more lively and realistic. We'll go over to the stock tab and look up snow green screen. This way we can add some snow falling out of the sky. This time we'll use a video that has a black background instead of a green background but rest assured this isn't going to cause any problems. We're going to select part of it and make it fit on the screen as best as we can. I want these to look like they're falling out of the sky. Then we'll go over to the effects tab and use the eyedropper to select the background color again. Even though it's just black it's important to get the exact shade. We'll move a bit further in the video to see where the flakes are and then dial in the intensity of the effect to make these flakes look as good as possible. We can set it to around 79% and you can see that right now we have a pretty cute meme featuring this funny cat. You can click the export button now, you'll be presented with a number of different options. You can either export your video and have it saved to your computer in less than 3 minutes or you can choose a social network to upload it to. However, the interesting part is that this video can be saved as a GIF. All you have to do is select the GIF format from this list and then click on export. The end result will look something like this.